I'm back. After my uh, very long extended little, I don't even know what that was. So this video right here, there is going to be a lot of talking. A lot of it. But I don't want you guys to stress out because there's a skate park right behind the camera that I'm going to be riding and talking. So it's going to be kind of riding and talking and trying, kind of explaining everything. Um, First things first is that I'm back, okay? Let's get that off the subject. I'm back and I'm better than ever and I, I, I'm still the same me. Still got my car. I still wear the same hat every day. Still got my bike. Still live somewhere, so not homeless yet. This summer has been absolutely boom. It's been gross. It's been terrible. It's been, it's been a not so fun and exciting summer. Let's just say that. So this video isn't like your normal scheduled, you know, experiment, funny, crazy video. This is just me full heart to heart with you guys explaining everything that's been going on and everything that has happened as to why I haven't been posting videos and this, that, and the third. So with all that, I'm gonna segment into me riding my bike, kind of explaining everything. And before I even do any of that, I just wanna put it out there that, I, I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> been so long since I've vlogged. Just want to put it out there that I kind of feel like I let myself down this summer for not filming as much as I really should have been and that kind of reflects onto you guys. I feel like I let you guys down too for not filming as much as I could during summer. Um, now that summer's coming to a close pretty soon, I'm going to see how much crazy sh I can do before summer ends. Okay? The next like however long we got is going to be the most insane few weeks ever. Sporadic, periodic, spontaneous, fun, adventures, everything. Just be ready for it. But anyways guys, there's gonna be a lot of GoPro footage in this video. I haven't picked up my GoPro in forever. Hopefully it still works and all that. But I'm gonna strap up the GoPro, hop on my bike, and get into the skate park and explain. So I still have the same old bike. I know a lot of you guys are wondering exactly, you know, Ryan, have you been riding your bike lately? Ryan, have you been doing a lot of stuff lately, this and that third? This kid still makes videos? So I know you guys have a lot of questions, and I do myself as to why he's texting me. I know you guys have a lot of questions as to where I've been, what I've been doing, and pretty much all of that fun stuff. Who is this kid? So first thing I want to get off the list is yes, I have been riding my bike a lot lately. I've been doing a lot of chill stuff. I haven't been really going hard in the paint. Catching a session just to clear my mind and stuff like that. That's the real reason why I started BMX and after I, you know, continuously uploaded to this channel, it seemed more like a job. So if you guys get what I'm saying, it's really hard to explain. But one thing I have not done is ride this skate park in literally forever. Whew. This GoPro is loose. First of all, and I'll touch base on this a little bit more later, but I do not live at the same house as I did for the past nine months. So basically what has happened, oh, this is hard to ride and talk. What am I even doing? Our lease was up and we just didn't want to renew it for a few reasons. Um, I'll go into more depth and detail later, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm giving excuses to you guys, but I'm really not. Oh God, my tire pressure is high. Yeah, these things are at like 100 PSI, so. But during the midst of pretty much moving out of the house, it got very chaotic and very hectic, very fast, okay? And I'm a big believer in fate. During those past nine months living at that house, it was very unproductive for me, guys. And I'm a very strong believer in this. I'm not sure if you guys, you know, I'll, I'll touch base on this later, but basically, ever since we moved out of that house, everything in life has gotten so much easier so much better and things have just been so like like it's just good karma something i'll talk more later but another thing that has been going on is that i have been super busy with that beautiful over there my car i do car stuff i like cars cars are fun i like banging gears and slamming queer Another thing is that YouTube is not my real job. It's not my main job. Um, one day I would like to stop doing my real job and go full time with YouTube, but it's hard because my main job is a good source of income. Ryan, what is your real job? My real job is that I am a videographer 
and photographer. I do weddings, concerts, events, literally everything. I sometimes man a photo booth. I do a lot of stuff, guys, with photography and videography, filmmaking, audio production, all that stuff. That's my main job that a lot of you guys probably do not know. I try keeping my life separate. But if you guys are in the upstate New York area, then please feel free to go to ryanneedlemedia.com and book your event slash concert slash wedding today. So picking up a camera all day, shooting wedding photography or videography. You guys could probably imagine that I would not want to pick up a camera for like the next couple days. I really just like how they set up this park too. That used to be flipped over right there and that used to be flipped over right there. And there used to be like a cool little thing right here. I haven't been here in a while though, but. Oh yeah, this park is shot. This park is so shot now. The past two months I've just been doing chills to the point where I don't even know what tricks I can do anymore. Yeah, really not a fan of how they really not a fan of how they set this park up now. This is in the way. This is in the way. That's in the way. Like what can I do? Looks all nice and dandy until it's like a three foot quarter to like a five foot flat to like a 20 foot landing. And then it goes just straight down from that to like another bank. It's like 90 degrees out right now. Not fun. So now that I'm older, I'm almost 20 now. My birthday's coming up in about a month now. What sucks is that all my friends have real jobs now. Nobody's really free just to have fun and film and do some cool stuff anymore. Everybody's just kind of busy working. That's what happens when you get older, I guess. Basically, this whole summer just boils down to everybody being busy. I'm being busy. It's just been a busy summer. Just, that's it. Just a busy summer. So that's all the way. But I have filmed a lot of videos this summer. A lot of them. And they aren't really released yet because a lot of them have to do with car stuff. I know a lot of you guys just cringed when I said that, but a lot of it's car stuff and I might just be posting those videos pretty soon because I got them edited, got them ready to go. Just kind of debating if I want to upload them, but I, th I think I'm going to. I think I am. They're fun. Almost every single car video I have filmed the past summer has literally had more BMX riding than I think any of my videos have ever had, honestly. Most of it's just, you know, me and my buddies doing car stuff and then we bring out the bike and everybody else just tries to do tricks on it, so. Thinking about posting those videos soon, just let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section below. Below, like I said, below. And I'm gonna see if I can wrap up a couple of tricks here. Oh wait, no, I can do a 450 on the hip because I'll land right here and then I have this big thing in my way. And the way I do 450s, I'll land flat or even on this shit. like I, I did that. Wow, cool, 180 half cab. And I came over here before my tire slid out. I was about to do a 180 bar spin. I was gonna come around right here. I was gonna come around right here and attempt a tail whip. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna attempt a tail because I don't even have pads on it. So I'm gonna flip around and I'm just gonna pull something right out of my Oh, those are bees. Oh, f all of that. Yo, what the? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh, oh, those are wasps. Oh, guys, look at this. Shit. Oh, f that. And I was just riding. Oh, I actually forgot this park is covered in bees. Flying everywhere now. I'm not getting stung today. Hell no. Hell no. Because once, once one stings, I think I've read online that the pheromones are on your skin now. Then you have to come in like a group of scooter kids. And I'm not about that life right now. That, uh-uh, I'm out. If I sip this and has a bee in it, I'm throwing myself off a balcony. But a lot of that was just me talking. I didn't want to bore you guys with just sitting here looking at my face. But I'm going to get in the subject of 
the house and pretty much everything that happened with the house. And I really feel like a cliche YouTuber right now just filming in your car complaining about some shit. So about a year ago our buddy Dane was getting kicked out of the house he was staying at and he had absolutely nowhere to go. And we were all 18 years old. We could we could legally move out of our parents house and live together. So that's what we did. We went on Facebook Marketplace, we went on Craigslist, we went on rent.com, Zillow, everywhere and we found a house after looking for about two months and it happened to be the house that we lived at. We found this house and it was located kind of in the city area where we live which isn't the best area for say. Um, it was also near two colleges, um, Lemoyne College and Syracuse College. So there was a lot of shenanigans there was a lot of just so I moved into that house because Dane had nowhere to go no place to stay and we all were friends and we didn't want him to be on the street so we got that place for him and everything was cool everything was fine for like the first four or five months um, we had parties our first house like we just kicked it dude the majority of being at the house was during winter and we did not have a driveway. Our driveway was shot. Um, I had to park my car in the road most of the time. My car is severely damaged from being at that house. Um, a lot of you guys who live near me knew exactly where that house was because it was such an area where it was so exposed and heavy populated and there's a lot of traffic and it was near a big park. So a lot of you guys knew exactly where we lived. That house costed me a and my buddies a lot of money and the house was just one big pain in the just one big pain in the living with four teenage boys absolutely nobody cleans up after themselves okay yeah but anyways uh everybody knew where we lived there's been a lot of times where fans would come over to our house um and i was not there or something like that um there's been times my car has been vandalized uh People have keyed my car while I was there. People have taken air pressure out of my tires. People have tried to steal sh out of my car. People have scoped my car out. Just like, I'm surprised that this car is still in one piece and people have not broken into it and stole a whole bunch of shit here. That, that's what I'm mainly surprised about. And you guys probably should have because that whole time we were at that house, my camera gear was in this car and you guys could have came up. Let me tell you. People know where we lived. Um, it was tough. There's been people who try to break into the actual house. There was handprints all over all the windows. All the window screens were all for trying to break into our house all the god time. And now that we don't have this house anymore, I can actually talk about this. Our neighbor's Donna, who is a wonderful gift from God. She was telling us how there's been like so many people coming over to the house when we're not there and actually going inside of the house while we're not there and there's been people who have done that before and she has no idea who they are and she's asked them and they said that they were friends of ours or something like that and what really bugs me the most is that like the doors were never locked um you know either we forgot or they just weren't locked like they were never ever locked um then comes along with when we got my dog dexter we had him at the house and like i said our doors were never locked he ran out one day and he got hit by a truck and it was not fun that was not a fun experience the house on the inside was not it was it was not as nice as what we sh could have gotten for that money but because of the area that we were in we were near colleges so a lot of college kids with a lot of parent money obviously it's priced up a little bit more um so the first three months of owning that house was stellar um everybody paid rent everybody was fine everybody was cool we were having parties everything was fun um after about four -ish months or during like you know christmas ish um things got tough people started losing their jobs adam brian and dane all lost their job well well they all quit pretty much the same day and, and they all worked at the same place um they lost their job they had some money saved up and they were able to pay rent for about a month or like two-ish months and then after those two-ish months I started having to pay rent for one side of somebody and then after that um it's so hard to remember because this is like a year ago but anyways um I started having to pay for people's rent so because the house was in my name I didn't want my credit to be too up from uh you know paying rent late so I paid for a lot of the people's rent um, out of my pocket and it took like a day for it to transfer and because I made payments late 
like a day late because it takes month it takes time to transfer money so basically my credit got in the house not too bad just like 20 points were taken off that's no big deal but still it just bugs me started having to pay for people's rent and then after about four ish months dane goes to us and he's like hey um i'm going to the marines and i'm not gonna live at the house anymore so you guys have to find someone to move in there he didn't say it like that but yeah Fuck you we couldn't find literally anybody. I had so many people messaging me saying that they wanted to move in, but nobody actually wanted to pay the beans for it because the house was kind of expensive for being what it was. So we had nobody to move in there. So I had to pay for Dane's side of the rent pretty much after he moved out. So instead of paying just my side, I had to pay for two people to live there. And nobody else was living there except for the three of us. So I paid for two portions of the rent. And then, you know, periodically, a couple months after that, Brian got a job, and then Adam got a job, and then Adam got fired again, and then I had to pay for another person's rent. So basically, I paid for two people's rents, and then three people's every, you know, so month. Basically, a lot of money, a lot of cheddar, a lot of cheddar. But anyways, I lost a lot of cheddar from that house not fun all in all we moved into that house for dane and dane ended up going to the marines and we were kind of just for the house directly after that i really want to apologize again i really hate making these videos but i am a content creator i am a youtuber i do artistic videography things i do social media sh i do a lot of stuff like that um and i lived with people who had nine to five jobs the thing that was most stressful and morally kind of not motivating for me was just like i don't mean this in the wrong way just being around people with like some normal jobs like i need to be around people who are like me like content creators youtubers i need to be around people like that for me to feel influenced and motivated to actually go out and film so i lived with people who just had regular day jobs and they got paid from it they got their money they got their shmoney but like, and I know a lot of you guys think like, oh, moving in with your buddies is going to be like the best thing ever. But in reality, it's, it's not as fun as you think. Like you guys are just adults living at a house. That's all it is. Like, it's not like, oh, we're going to party every day. We're going to do this every day. It's not. It's like, okay, I got to do laundry. Okay, I got to take a shower. Oh, I got to go to work now. Oh, I got to film this video and upload it to YouTube tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's it's really not as, as made out as it seems. And we kind of had these high hopes for it, and it didn't turn out to be the way that I think everybody was anticipating. Um, especially for me, I really wanted to... I really was expecting for, like, a crazy ass with, like, a whole bunch of fun sh** happening. But in reality, like, like, there was nothing to film, nothing to do. Everybody just worked and chilled. It was just a chill house, really. And that's... That's realistically how it is when you move in your buddies. It's just chill. So I just want to put that out there. I felt very unmotivated throughout those nine months to even do anything content related. Um, it was hard for me to even film weddings. It was hard for me to do any of that. Um, just to feel creative. And that house was just a boring sack of shit. But anyways, like, I just, it's just, it wasn't for me. Um, like not at all and i think i think brian and adam and dane can vouch for me maybe not dane because dane barely lived there but brian and adam could definitely vouch for me like it sucked it was not fun you know just paying a ridiculous amount of money a month just to live when we can do that at our parents house like we literally paid there to sleep that's all we did and that and like as soon as our like last month lease was up brian and adam or well adam left like few weeks like a week into the month and then brian slowly followed him and then i kind of slowly followed brian so like we we were done with that house but as i was saying after we moved out of that house everything has been so much easier lately um filming videos getting back in the loop of things i've just been so hectic with lightings lately so i haven't been able to really get a good video out there but i posted as soon as we left that house like i posted a video because i went to the skate park and road but it's been so much easier. A lot of weddings were actually booked as soon as we left that house. I've had like, you know, it's like good karma. Like, I'm not supposed to be at that house. I don't know. I swear, I just believe in that shit. But anyways, guys, that's going to cap off the video. I just really want to apologize for absolutely everything. I want to apologize for this video not being as exciting as I want it to be. So with that, guys, that's going to conclude this video. If you guys seem to enjoy it, please go on below. Leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave anything you want. Um, comments will definitely be appreciated. Um, very appreciative. You could really use some uh, 
some chats down below of you guys. I really want some chit chats. But with that, guys, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which is going to be fun and adventurous. So peace.